The area demarcated, as the final refuge for Arctic life, is melting fast. With the rising global temperature, it is projected, that most of summer ice in the Arctic region, will be gone in a few decades. This will not only threaten the Arctic species, that need the frozen climate, but also people, that depend upon these species. Scientists have been pinning their hopes, on a region called, the last ice area, that stays frozen through the summer. It is a 400,000 square mile area, located in North Greenland and Arctic Canada. A vast floating landscape, with the oldest and thickest Arctic ice. Ice from other Arctic areas, drifts and piles up here. An archipelago of Canadian islands, prevents the ice from drifting south. It is home to various species of plankton and algae, growing underneath the ice. These species have evolved to grow directly on ice, and are a part of a delicate ecosystem. This ecosystem supports microbes, and animals like fish and crustaceans. In turn supporting other animals like polar bears and beluga whales. Recent studies suggest, that this area is under serious threat, due to rising global temperatures. The ice is melting at an unexpected rate. Sea ice helps cool the Earth's temperature, by reflecting back the sunlight. As more ice melts, it leads to a further increase in the temperature. If the current trends continue, the ice will be alarmingly thin by the year 2050. Summertime ice might be totally gone, by the year 2100. If this happens, the ice-dependent ecosystems will collapse, bringing several species to extinction. The area, also needs to be protected from mining. For over a decade, WWF has been working with the local communities, to conserve this area. Scientists are still hoping, that if carbon emissions are drastically reduced, a thin sheet of ice might still survive. This ice can act as Noah's Ark, for the Arctic species, to wait out the warm temperatures.